Congresswoman Veronica Escobar commenting on the Bridge of the Americas expansion project, saying it might not impact the Coliseum or even the ice rink. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Morgan. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live from the El Paso County Coliseum. And Shelby, we heard the concerns of people who use those facilities often. Is Escobar clearing up some of those concerns now? Andy, there are three different design alternatives for the expansion of the Bridge of the Americas project and Congressman Veronica Escobar does say that the federal government has told her that they're leaning towards the alternative design option that would keep the El Paso Coliseum here as well as the ice rink intact. Now the federal government is planning to spend up to $700 million on the project to expand the Bridge of the Americas. Here you can see on the design alternative number one from the General Service administration website. It shows the land use in red for the expansion and this alternative does not have the Coliseum or the ice rink in red. However, another design number two has the ice rink in red and number three has both the ice rink and the Coliseum in red for this expansion. While nothing is off the table, in my latest conversation with GSA, they have told me that the current preferred alternative is the design that actually leaves the Coliseum intact and also leaves the ice rink intact. Now the ice rink is the home of the El Paso Rhinos hockey team and the team and figure skaters have voiced their concerns over the project. The vice president of the hockey team sending us a statement regarding what Congresswoman Escobar said, saying in part, quote, although we haven't been informed of which proposal GSA is leaning towards, all three proposals negatively impact our rink. Now Congresswoman Veronica Escobar did say that none of those designs would impact any of the neighborhoods or private property in the this area, just the county and government facilities. Andy, back to you.